how to use the sum ifs function in Excel with three practical problems, questions. We need to solve all these three different questions, and we're gonna see how can we use the sum ifs function with one criteria, with two criteria, and also using a date as criteria. Let's start here with the first question where we need to solve this problem. And here I basically have a data set about the regions, about sales, regions, the product that I sold for each one of the regions, the total sold by product, by region, for example, and also here in the last column, the units sold. Uh, the first question that I have here is, what is the total sold per region? And here I have the south region, for example, but I can change the region too. So for example, instead of using south, I can use waste, for example, like this. And the formula, the function that we're gonna use here is gonna be automatically update for me. This is the benefit to use the sum ifs function. And the difference between the sum ifs function and the sum function in Excel is the sum function is gonna sum, is gonna add up all the values that you selected in the range. It's gonna add up everyone. But the sum ifs function is just gonna add up the values that match with the criteria that you choose, okay? Here we have as criteria the south. And so that way I can't sum all the values sold, for example, just the values that match with the south criteria. Let's start here using the equal sign sum ifs function like this. I'm gonna double click here to select the function, won't you? Okay. The first thing that the sum ifs function is asking me is the sum range. The sum range here is gonna be the column C, for example. I can either choose a specific range like this. Or I can also click here in the entire column C to select the entire column C. So just click in the letter, letter C, okay. Comma, criteria range one, the first criteria range. What is my criteria range? As I need to use the region as criteria, so I'm gonna need to select as criteria range, the column where I have the regions, the column A, for example. I'm gonna click in the column A, okay, comma, now the sum is function is asking me the first criteria. The first criteria that I have here, uh, okay, I just have one criteria. So the only criteria that I need to use here is the south. Here I can either type it in manually, quote, south, unquote, like this, for example, just put the criteria in between quotations mark, or to make it dynamic, instead of do it, I can select the cell where I have the criteria, for example, the cell H3 in this example close parentheses and then enter. And as you guys can see, I got here the correct result. And uh, if I change uh, this value right here to the criteria to, instead of using salt, using waste, for example, the value is gonna be update for me automatically. Now the question number two, we have, what is the total sold per region per item? Now I need to use two conditions, two criteria. The first one can be the region and the second one can be the item, for example or vice versa, it doesn't matter. Equal sign, sum ifs function. Double click here, I want you to select sum range. The sum range, as we just saw before, doesn't change because I'm gonna need to sum to add up the values of uh, the sales. So I'm gonna click here in the entire column C. Comma, my first criteria range can either be the region or the item. It doesn't matter, okay? I'm gonna stick first with the item just to make it uh, different. So the first criteria range that I'm gonna select is gonna be the, the, the column B, column B. I click here, okay, comma. My first criteria, as I select as the criteria range, the item, I need to match this logical selection. So I need to select here the item, okay, to match. I'm gonna select, so the item, the cell, I7, for example, comma. Now the sum ifs function is asking me the criteria range to the second criteria range. As I need to use the region, I need to select the first column where I have the regions. So I just select it, comma. Now as the second criteria is gonna, I'm gonna use the waste, for example. Close parentheses, enter, and we're done. Now, whenever I change either the region or the item, for example, item B, as you guys can see, the values is updating for me. Waste, I'm gonna change to south. Uh, I can see, let's see, okay, it's automatically, so it's working. Now if I move on here to the second spreadsheet, we have a different problem here. I need to use date as criteria. And here I have a different data set. Basically a stock report. 
but I have all the items, all the products in this stock. In the first column, I have the manufacturing date. Uh, in the second column, I have the product, and then the quantity and the expiration date. And here to the right, we have the question. How many products expire before 2024? As criteria, I can use, let's say, this date right here, December 31st of 2023, or I can also use, let's say, January 1st of 2024. It's going to change, depends on the logical operators that I can use. I can either use less than, or I can use less than or equal to. I can choose these two options of logical operators. If I opt for the first one, less than, I need to use, let's say, January 1st of 2024, okay? But if I choose the second option right here, I need to use as reference as date December 31st of 2023, for example. So it all depends on the logical operators that I can use, that I'm going to use. Equal sign sum ifs function. Let me just double click here, one, two. The sum range that I'm going to use is the column C. So I'm going to click here to select the entire column C. Comma. My criteria range is going to be the column D, expiration date, comma again. And as the first criteria here, I need to use the date, but I need to also append here the logical operators. So I'm going to use here less than or equal to this data that I have right here. But instead of just let this like this, for example, I need to input the logical operators in between quotations. So I need to quote, unquote, and then I need to use the ampersand to append the cell to the formula. It's going to be something like this, for example. Code, unquote, append. Now the cell 84, for example. To append things here, I can use the upper send symbol, this symbol right here. Now I can close parentheses here and then press enter. And here we got 409 items in the stock that, have, uh, that has expiration date before 2024. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you have any questions or any suggestions to the next videos, let me know, comment down below, and I see you tomorrow. As every day has a new video, I see you there.